Make sure you download the One Football app. It's the best app to get all your latest football news and live updates. So today we have our first squad update for FIFA 20. So we're just going to download it and I'll show you guys if it's changed anything in career mode and see if the squads have been updated with the latest transfers. If you enjoy the video, make sure you leave a thumbs up for me. If you're new around here, make sure you subscribe as well because we do do a lot of those squad update videos. So if you don't want to miss anything, make sure you subscribe today. So first things first, I think you should go and apply this squad update so you get all the latest squads and the transfers and stuff. So all you have to do is go to edit teams, go to download updates, hit yes, and then it will download the updates for you. This is going to be very important. So before you even do your career mode save, make sure you download the latest squads. Otherwise, you will be playing with those outdated squads. All right, so we'll just check the club transfers because I knew that Man United at the time had Smalling still when we all know he's gone to Roma. So I don't think Smalling is here. Let's go and check uh, Roma now. I've noticed that the menus are a bit slow this year. They're, they're slower than Fever 19, man. I didn't think it could get much slower, but they're a bit more laggier. Let's go to Roma quickly and let's see if uh, Smalling is there. There he is. All right, so they've applied the latest transfers, which is good. Uh, Sanchez as well. I think Sanchez was at Inter. Back then, he was at United still. So, Sanchez is there. So, that's good. They've applied the latest transfers. So, I think they're done with the transfers. You don't need to worry about that anymore. So, very, very important update to get the latest squads for your career mode save, especially if you're starting on day one. Now, let's head over to career mode and see if it fixes anything. We'll just start a new career. I'll see if uh, I notice anything. We're going to test out the starting 11 bug as well. So, we just use the current squads. We'll go to manager career. We're going to pick a lower rated team so we can test out the clubs not playing their first 11. So Aston Villa will be good for this one. We're just going to check the European competition group, see if they've updated that. And it looks like they have. So it's not last year's groups anymore. It looks like it's going to be this season's ones for the Champions League, which is definitely a good thing. Because if you started a save a few days ago, you got all the last year's groups. And uh, the Europa League, I believe, has been changed as well. I'm not sure if every team from the Europa League is in there, but you've got Wolves, you've got United and all that kind of stuff. So that's already two things that they've fixed for career mode people. They've uh, changed the squads and they've also updated the European competition. So let's get into it and let's test the AI clubs. All right, so we're just going to test out a few of the bigger clubs like Spurs and uh, we'll try Arsenal as well. These are the main uh, teams that have this issue where they're not playing the proper squad. So yeah, we've got a few teams to take a look at here. Let's start with the Spurs one. Now I'm going to go to simulate a game because that'll show me the squads that they were going to put out for the game. Hopefully this squad update did affect this. I'm not sure it will, but it could be just a deeper issue in career mode. So let's check the sim match. Uh, let's see if there's uh, a fix there. It would be nice to see because this is a big problem at the moment. It makes the game pretty much unplayable. So Spurs, yeah, they're still using their, their rotated 11. Look, they got Whiteman in goals. White, Bowden, Oakley, Booth. Eriksen started at least, but Parrot is up front. Lloris, Alderweireld, Ali, Kane, Vertonghen, Lachelso, and Son on the bench. Come on, EA, man. This is, this is bad. All right, so Spurs hasn't been fixed. Maybe Arsenal can give us a bit of hope here. Let's simulate this game. Let's see what's coming up. Yeah, they're still pretty rotated. They've got Martinez, Maitland, Niles, David Luiz, Xhaka starts, Torreira starts, Ceballos started, and Lacazette started as well. But they've got Aubameyang on the bench, Ozil, Pepe, Socrates, Leno as well. So it's sort of half good, half bad. We'll test our Liverpool now. This one is on the 2nd of November. And it looks, yeah, oh, this is even bad. Okay, they've got a few starters like Firmino, Salah, and Mane up front. But the rest of them, man, come on. Henderson started at least. But, yeah, they've got the reserve goalkeeper. Allison is on the bench. Shakiri on the bench. Origi. A few days later, we have Man City. So this will be the last team I test out. Obviously, I'm not expecting much for this. So this is definitely not a squad update issue. This is more of like a code issue or something. I don't know what they're going to do with this. But... All right, this Man City had a few starters. Edison in goals, Cancelo, Fernandinho, Silva, Aguero started, but still got De Bruyne on the bench, Mares, Sterling. So yeah, at least they got the win, but yeah, it's not really the full strength. So we're definitely going to have to wait for a patch for this one. Let's do the, the league table. I want to test that one quickly, see if that's changed or if they've affected that. Let's test out the group tables. We are up to the last game of the season. So let's see if there's any accuracy here, any improvements. It looks to be okay, actually. Actually, this one turned out all right. Who won the league? Man United. They always win the league in this thing. Well, they haven't won it yet. They've got two games to go. But Man City is in second. So at least they're up there. At least they're not getting relegated. Liverpool third. Spurs fourth. Aston Villa fifth. Wow. Chelsea sixth. Newcastle seven. Arsenal ninth. Is there anyone down there? West Ham, Crystal Palace, and Sheffield got relegated. All right. I'm not really sure if they've improved it. But 
It's good to see Man City and Liverpool up there, but United won the league. I don't know about that one. Aston Villa in fifth as well. Spurs fourth. So, yeah, make what you want of that one. So in terms of the players in this squad update, some have actually been edited. Some potentials have changed and stuff. So the first one is Mohamed Ihatarin from PSV. And his potential went from 86 up to 88 now. Looks like a young star. I think he's 17 years old. So his stats are pretty average at the moment, but maybe he'll grow pretty nicely. Danny Olmo is another player. This one plays for Dinamo Zagreb. He is 21 years old, and his potential went from 87 up to 88. A few things like marking and aggression and stamina went up as well for him. Looks like a solid player. A lot of green stuff there. And uh, yeah, he'll grow as well pretty nicely. Next up, we have Jonathan David from Ghent. And this guy can play as a center forward striker or cam. 19 years old. And uh, his potential went from 87 up to 88. And he got some upgrades to his acceleration, agility, balance, ball control, composure, reactions as well. A lot of upgrades for him. Now, AC Milan player Lucas Paqueta got a downgrade to his potential. It went from 89 down to 88. So that's the only thing that changed for him. But his stats look all right. A lot of greens there. So maybe he is going to be a good player. I mean, 88 potential is really nothing to frown about. Next up is Erling Haaland from RB Salzburg. 18 years old, can play as a striker. And he got some upgrades and downgrades as well. But his potential went from 85 up to 87. So he got a two-point upgrade there. Uh, positioning went down, aggression went down, but finishing went up by 5. Heading accuracy overall went up by 2 as well to 75 overall now. So nice little upgrade for him. Next up is Dominic Sobola. I don't even know how to say his name. But this guy plays for Salzburg as well, 18 years old. Can play as a cam, right mid or left mid. So very versatile in the midfield there. Now he got an upgrade to his free kick accuracy. It went up to 81. But his potential started at 89, but now it's down to 87. So he got a 2-point downgrade. But... 87 is still pretty good. This guy is 18 years old, pretty young as well. And he's got some average stats, I guess, for his age and his overall. So not too bad there. It would have been nice if he kept his 89 potential though. Next up is Jonathan Ikorne from Lille. And he got some upgrades to his ball control, crossing, dribbling. Overall went from 78 up to 79. Positioning went from 75 up to 76. And potential went from 86 up to 87 as well. So yeah, he's a cam and a right midfielder. I think I said that. I'm not sure. But he's got 90 acceleration, 89 sprint speed. So this guy is all about that pace. And he looks pretty good. Fernando is up next for Sporting. And he's 20 years old. And his overall went from 71 up to 72. Potential went from 85 up to 86 as well. And uh, he got some upgrades to his weight and stuff like that. So nothing really too important there. But he's 20 years old, left winger. Not too bad. Pretty average stats besides the pace department. Next up, we have... Doniel Malin from PSV, and this guy looks very, very good, but he got some upgrades to his agility, composure, overall went from 76 up to 77, positioning went up, and potential went from 85 up to 86 as well, but take a look at the green there, acceleration 92, 90 is his sprint speed as well, a lot of greens there, uh, some yellows and greens in the technical stuff, but not too bad of a player, only 20 years old as well. Next up is James Madison, and Nothing else changed in his stat department. The only thing that changed was his potential. It went from 84 up to 86. This guy is 22 years old, can play as a cam, center mid, or left wing. And uh, yeah, he's pretty good. Next up is Thiago Jalo from Lille. 19 years old, a center back. And he got some upgrades to his interceptions. Marking overall went from 66 up to 67. Potential went from 84 up to 85. And reactions went up as well. The rest of them stayed the same. But this guy's going to need a lot of training because a lot of yellow stats right there. Even reds as well. Here we have Mohamed Salisu from Real Valladolid, center back, 20 years old, and he got some upgrades to his aggression, heading accuracy, interceptions, marking, overall went from 68 up to 70, potential went from 83 up to 85, sliding tackle went up, strength went up as well. So he comes in with that 85 potential, not too bad, but yeah, he's going to need a bit of work as well. Next up, we have Pedro Porro. I believe he's playing for Man City at the moment in my career mode. So he's 19 years old, can play as a right wing back, a right back or a right midfielder. Pretty versatile player right there. Acceleration went up, overall went up by 1 to 74 now. Potential went from 84 up to 85 and sprint speed went up. And that's basically it for him. A goalkeeper called Simon or Simon from Athletic Club got upgraded as well. So his diving went up, handling, kicking, positioning, reflexes all went up. Overall went from 73 up to 75. Potential went from 84 up to 85 as well. And reactions went up. Shot power went up as well. This guy's 22 and a goalkeeper. And uh, yeah, can go for about 8.5 million. Brian Gill also got updated from Sevilla. And he's 18 years old, can play as a left wing or left mid. So his ball control went up, crossing went up, finishing went up, long shots went up. Overall went from 65 to 66, but his potential went up by three. It used to be 81, now it is 84, 
and short passing went up as well. Here we have Eric Garcia from Manchester City, 18 years old, a centre back, and all his stats went up in terms of like heading accuracy, dribbling, composure, and all that stuff. His overall went from 66 up to 67. Potential went from 83 up to 84, so not too bad. A lot of his stats are in the yellow and red still, so he's going to need a lot of growth. Next up, we have James Garner from Manchester United, and 18 years old, a centre defensive mid slash centre mid, and his stats went up in a few different areas. His overall went from 63 up to 64. Potential went from 83 up to 84 as well. This guy should be pretty cheap. Yeah, he is, 800,000. So those are not all the players that got edited. Make sure you check So FIFA to see the full list. Those were just the main highlights. If you need something else to watch, make sure you hit the card in the middle. It'll take you to another FIFA 20 video of mine. I'll see you next time.